Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ from Appleton, Wisconsin. It is yet Thursday evening, approaching the midnight hour, and I am coming in prayer. Praise God. And I will start with scripture. Luke chapter 18, verse 1. He told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. Father God, we thank you for this occasion that you have allowed us yet another opportunity to come to you in prayer. We thank you. We bless your holy name. We thank you for your precious son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all of our sins and rose with all power. We thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Invite the Holy Spirit in this prayer right now, Father God. We ask that you pardon us from our sins, all those we committed intentionally, unintentionally, anything we said or done in thought and or in deed to offend thee, Father God. Your word says, when two or more gathered in your name, that you be in a mess. So we stand on your word. I thank you for my prayer partners, Deacon Allen, our uh, morning prayer call. I thank you for the morning glory group, the Allen group, Elder Allen, as well as um, Shape group, God's house of prayer second baptist church of ann arbor and my home church cages baptist church your prayer calls father god we all come together just saying thank you thank you thank you thank you we cannot thank you enough for the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us father god we're praying right now for those who don't know you to come to know you and we're praying for those of us who do know you to draw closer to you father god on this, um, we pray for the broken heart, the bereaved heart, um, everyone who's standing in need of mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually touched from you, Father God. And we know that COVID is still lurking, Father God. And we pray that the United States will be united in love, united in peace. And it just saddens my heart. That on yesterday, um, one of Detroit's finest was killed in the line of duty. And we certainly pray for his family, his friends, colleagues, as well as the community. And also it saddens my heart just a few days ago for the senseless gun violence that happened at the 4th of July parade in Highland Park, Illinois, right outside. I'm a suburb of Chicago. And Father God, we just pray that... That this gun violence, senseless gun violence will come to an end. That we step up, we do our part, we look out for each other, we care for each other. When things are not right, we call it out. But as your words say, Father God, for us to continue to pray, for us not to lose hope that we can come to you in prayer. And th that you hear our prayer. That we can pray without ceasing. Your word also said in the midnight hour, Paul and Silas were praying and and chains broke. And Father God, there is some addiction going on. There are some mental health strongholds that's going on. There's um, financial matters going on. But it is nothing too hard for you, Father God. And I call them out to you. I intercede on behalf of some people who can't even or who won't do it for themselves, Father God. That these chains will break. That praying in the midnight hour, Father God, we come to you. We cry out to you. Your word said that we can. And I ask that you will hear our prayers, Father God. And that we know that you can answer them. But we pray that you will answer them, Father God. And also, um, we have some praise to give thankfulness, a little girl on the airplane last week drew a picture of me and she was so happy. Her mom brought her up to me and she was so excited to give it to me. And it's just a blessing to see kindness coming from a little kid, Father God. And, and may that overflow, may other people just um, decide to not be ashamed or, or not too busy to show kindness. All it takes is a second. That's a free investment, Father God. You showed, you showed us and told us how to treat our brother, Father God, and our sister. And I pray that we can start doing that, Father God. Also, um, I had an amazing time over the holiday this past weekend with um, Cousins from Memphis, Tennessee, visiting Detroit, and it was just an amazing time, an old-fashioned barbecue, 
playing dominoes, playing um, music, dancing together, blessing the food, breaking bread together, Father God. And I also thank you for my home church, Cadiz Baptist Church. And I was able to actually be in fellowship in the church. And I just thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to fellowship at my home church. And I also thank you for um, Triumph Church that I attended there Tuesday morning, um, Tuesday noon Bible study, as well as virtually Second Baptist Church of Ann Arbor there Wednesday morning, 7 a.m. prayer call. And I pray for all churches that's open in your name, kingdom building, no matter where you are, get connected to a church. But again, I thank you for Senior, Greg, Senior Pastor Greg Foster of Cadiz Baptist Church, my home church. I pray for all of the first responders, our law enforcement, our military, our fire, medical, transportation. We all need each other, especially the people who are working in midnight shift and away from their family. I just pray a covering, Father God, and, and I pray for our youth as they are um, graduating and, and, and st starting summer programs that they stay connected with you that we cover them in prayer, Father God, and that they attend vacation Bible um, school, the various churches that have them, and that there is a reality in serving you, that we have to continue to pray and trust you. Um, I had a colleague to bless me with some Tigers tickets, and I was able to go to the game with my daughter, and we had an amazing time. And um, we were able to get tickets for other family members. And we all had an amazing time just being together in the city of Detroit. And I just pray a special covering over the city of Detroit, especially during this time of um, bereavement and hurting in, in every city. As, as I thank you, God, for allowing me to travel to various locations when I hear the news and the things that are going on locally, Father God, I just... I just call out, Lord, have mercy on us. Help us to love each other and be stewards of kindness, of love, of peace, and for us not to give up on being what you have called us to be and witnessing and and for us not to grow weary. There is a reality in serving you, Father God. And I'm just so um, grateful that I know for myself and I know you have no respect of person and Maybe someone else can hear this. Maybe you've been on a hamster wheel of life. Maybe you've lost yourself. It is not too late. Call out to God. He is, his ear is always near. And I just implore you to taste him and see that the Lord is good and he is worthy to be praised. And, and just again, I thank you for my family. I thank you for my friends. I thank you for the many blessings you bestowed upon me. And I pray that you are pleased, Father God. I do not want, I, I don't want to um, to let you down. I love you. I thank you. And I bless your holy name. Again, I pray for all those who are going through right now. And it is a hard time. But Father God, we can just hold on to you. And we know that the storm will pass. And we have to say hallelujah anyhow. But Father God, please have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. We love you. We thank you. We bless your holy name. If there's um, something that I forgot, please um, seek my heart, Father God. We need you. We thank you. We bless your holy name. In the matchless name of Jesus, you left us in peace. So I too would say peace.